Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to the vlog. Now I know in one of the shorts, I think I said the next video that we're gonna do is kind of an update video on the C6 Corvette. The last video I did on it, I think, was something about when we swapped the engine because the LS2 let go, we put an LS3 in it. Now, if you follow me on social media, you've probably seen the car and everything we've done to it since. We're changing it up. We're gonna call it Blucifer version 2.0. First version you've seen it went from an orange base model to a Voodoo Blue from Toyota, ACI Z06 wide body, uh, still base model. LS2 car, now, like I said, the LS2 blew up. We put an LS3 in it, and it's still on a base tune, but it does have the break-in mileage, but I wanna go ahead and get the body work and everything done with the new kit that you probably noticed just now that we put on the car. So I actually posted about the California Super Coupe's extreme wide body. I think it's like an inch and a half wider than the base Z06 and it has ZR1 style front fenders. So I actually posted on one of the Facebook groups, I forgot what it was, maybe C6 modified or something like that and posted asking about it. And a gentleman from New Orleans, and granted we're in West Virginia, posted and said, hey man, I will trade you the California Super Coupe's extreme wide body for your ACI Z06 wide body. So we kind of, I was kind of skeptical about it, but arranged it, uh, I think it was like, six and a half hours for each of us. So that was around Chattanooga, Tennessee. So we actually met up at Riverside Chattanooga, which is kind of a car show that they have in Chattanooga. Um, he pulled up, I gave him my panels, I took his panels and he headed back to New Orleans. We stayed and enjoyed the car show because we were already down in Pigeon Forge for Rod Run anyway. And I think that was back in April. So I think that may catch you up to where we are. California Super Coupe's wide body is just bolted on with a couple bolt. Now granted, it does need a little bit of fiberglass work, but I'm gonna be working with a local body shop to fix those. I'm not really good with fiberglass work. Uh, I did paint the car myself, but with my schedule with work, and everything else going on, I just don't think I have time to commit to repainting the car. So we're gonna be repainting the car uh, back Voodoo Blue, but we may tweak it a little bit. So let me get this car sprayed off and I'll take you on an in-depth walk around of where we're at with it. All right, guys, so we got the car sprayed off. It's been setting over there for a little while now. There's a bunch of cars that we need to reveal and the truck, but there's the truck. There's my 350Z. That's the Z3 that we've had forever. 240 and an E36 318. I think it's a TI. And there is the new bumpers for the Z, which is coming soon. But anyway, back to the C6. If you're new to the channel, like I said, this started out as an 06 LS2. I think it's like Daytona Sunset Orange um, base model. Um, did not have any kind of wide body on it or anything. And over the years, we did transform it. ACI wide body, Stance SF01 wheels. Uh, those are like 20 by 13s in the back with a three. 345 wide tire these are 20 by 10 in the front anyway we're gonna have to run some spacers because that's 20 by 13 i'm not gonna buy wider wheels so we're just gonna space them out and we did the morimoto c6 uh well i guess those are the c7 style headlights the 06 oem front bumper casualty from this winter uh, ran into a big thing of mud and snow and it broke my splitter which we have to get a bigger one for this bigger wide body anyway along with the side skirts so moving to the interior of the car I did buy new seats for it um, this is just the OEM seat that we dyed black which you can see that used to be tan and it's kind of wearing off but that is going to be the new seats it's just sitting in here right now kind of getting test fitted but it's a cypher auto um, seats. We're going to do uh, blue seat belts as well. We're going to work with safety restore on those. Uh, C6 C6.5 rear spoiler, uh, vet lights, marker lights that are not in right now, vet lights, onyx tail lights, uh, everything, all the lighting on the car is from vet lights. The plan with the car, we're like I said, we're going to repaint it back voodoo blue, but we may put some sort of uh, like little micro flake or something in it to make it pop just a little bit more. And we're going to convert everything that's black theoretically to carbon. I'd like to do carbon 
at least overlays on it because I think that looks really good. But the damage on the fenders, the guy had them on a drag C6. Apparently the drag radial came up and hit them. So that is what is going to need fixed. And I think it's like that on both sides. I think that's the worst side. Yeah, this side's not bad. And then there's some like smaller cracking on the rear that's going to need, I guess, reinforced and everything. And then this one, I think it's kind of the same way. Just little micro cracks. All that can be fixed. It's just fiberglass. I just kind of wanted to give you guys an update on the car because it has been off of the channel for so long with everything else. I told you guys I would give you an update video. There is the update. We are going to start working on it. Um, we're going to start working on the BMW here soon. The 350Z is going to be the uh, practice drift car. We're going to try to learn how to drift. Uh, that's what I was alluding to in my last video, is we're going to try to get into drifting. Now, the one car I don't think I've really showed you on the channel is the CTSV, and it is in the garage buried. But it needs a rear alignment. I think the cradle bushings may be bad. So I have to get those replaced. I got brand new tires to the rear because it ate through a set of tires in less than a thousand miles, completely down to the wire. So that rear alignment is really, really bad. We did pick up another LS3 that we're gonna be doing a build on. Not sure what that's gonna go in, but the deal was too good to pass up. And here is the bike I alluded to. Um, I'm gonna do individual videos and all this stuff the bmw c5 the 350z the z3 the c6 the ctsv the supermoto and even some truck stuff i know it's kind of a crappy way to unveil all of that we're going to do a series of videos of in-depth kind of look arounds of all those new vehicles because like i said since that like not the 370z video but the ones before that a lot of stuff has changed so guys i'm going to wrap up the video here i know there's a lot of rambling i just kind of wanted to give you a uh a little bit longer form content view of the C6 and where it's currently at and where it's going to go. So if you like the C6 and all the new additions, hit that big thumbs up button. Subscribe to the channel. We're almost at 7,000. And I'll see you guys on the next video.